This is Mark Washington for MTC Media with your betting guide to Usyk. Joshua 2, the rematch is Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time here in the United States uh, on the zone. So the we are always influenced by what we saw last, which is why um, the odds at that MGM probably look the way it does, even though for me it's still somewhat surprising. Uh, if you look at it, the fight from a two-way results, Usyk is minus 190, Joshua is plus 140. And to get Anthony Joshua in a fight like this, um, as an underdog, I mean, it's really, really tempting. On the three-way, it is Usyk uh, minus 175, Joshua plus 150, with a tie being plus um, plus 2,000. But um, one of the things I, I'm looking at is um, the method of victory. Uh, Usyk by KO, TKO, technical decision with DQ is plus 175. Usyk's one points is plus 220. Uh, Joshua KO TKO technical decision uh, disqualification is plus two twenty five. Anthony Joshua winning by points is plus seven hundred, um, with a uh, with a tie being plus two thousand. Again, Joshua, if you look at Joshua's rematch with Ruiz, he fought a very conservative uh, fight in many many ways, and with the way these two match up. If Joshua wins this fight, it could be a situation where he is looking to win by points, changing his strategy, being more active and winning on points as opposed to trying to make this an out and out slugfest against Usyk. Again, Joshua is a two time champion getting plus 700 in a, a rematch on points. That is tempting if you think that Joshua will win this fight. That is a tempting number to take. Um, now, granted, if you want to go like Deontay Wilder, who said that he felt like Usyk, if, by his heart, he feels like Usyk should win. And to be honest, if you look at a lot of boxing experts, not only are so many of them picking Usyk, so many of them are picking him to win even easier then he won the first time when he won by unanimous decision and was really only close on one scorecard. There was a 115-113 scorecard. Um, and I had scored at 115-113 for Usyk also. And to tell you how tenuous that is, if you gave Usyk rounds 10, 11, and 12, if you flip any of those rounds, you're at a draw. If you flip two of those three rounds, if Joshua can flip two of those three rounds, he wins on that scorecard. So, yes, Usyk did look very good um, in that fight, but he looked very good at the beginning. He looked very good at the end. And in the middle, Joshua had looked like he had figured some things out. But in the end, it looked like Joshua was one who had worn down, and Usyk got his second win in those championship rounds, and not Joshua. Joshua looked spent. So my thing is, my advice on the betting is, if you do think that, Usyk is going to win. Take Usyk on points plus 220. I know Joshua has had a propensity to um, get knocked down. I know how the first Ru Ruiz fight ended, but I just don't think in a rematch that he's going to allow himself to be knocked out or TKO or anything. I, I see that if he loses, that it would be um, – on the cards, that might be a wider margin, but on the cards. So if you're a Usyk guy um, or a Usyk gal, however you put it, if you're a Usyk gambler, um, plus 220 to me is your best uh, rate. If you're for Joshua, I mean, you have to – you might want to take both, really. I mean, you have to take Joshua at plus 700 on points and then take Joshua plus 150 in the three-way and Joshua plus 140 in the two-way. If you're going to bet Joshua, I mean, throw the bone at it. And even if you think he'll knock him out, take the 225 combined with the 150 and the 140. I mean, you have to. How many times are you going to get Anthony Joshua unless he's fighting someone like a Tyson Fury? How many times are you going to get Anthony Joshua um, – at this rate, on top of that, there's going to be no one who's going to be rooting for Anthony Joshua more than Deontay Wilder. Because if Deontay Wilder can win his fight on October 15th, you best believe we go into 2023 asking and more than likely getting a Joshua Wilder matchup. And how great would that be, especially if that was fought in England? So this is Marcus Washington from MTC Media. That is your betting guide. 
for you sick, Joshua.